So what I can tell you is that on Monday, October 12th, at approximately 4.15 a.m., Windsor police officers on patrol came across a working fire. At approximately the same time, they, a citizen in the city of Windsor placed a 911 call to report the incident. Windsor Fire and Rescue Services attended the scene and eventually requested the assistance of the Windsor Police Service Arson Unit and also the Office of, Office of the Fire Marshal of Ontario. For several days, Windsor Police Arson Investigators worked with Windsor Fire and Rescue, Rescue Services and the Office of the Fire Marshal on what was determined to be a suspicious fire. Through investigation, it has been discovered that two suspects attended the business on the morning of October 12, 2015. A 21-year-old male entered the business and his actions caused an explosion inside, resulting in him being critically injured. The second suspect, a 39-year-old male, removed the injured male from the scene and brought him to an undisclosed location in the city of Windsor, and then later to a secondary location in Essex, Ontario. Eventually, an ambulance was called to assist this male, and he was trans transferred by ambulance to Windsor Regional Hospital, Olette Campus, formerly known as Hotel Du Hospital. At that time, he was airlifted to a hospital in Hamilton that is known for burn, a burn unit. He remains in critical condition and is in a medically induced coma. We have learned that he has severe burns over 60% of his body. On Thursday, October 15th, at approximately 8.45 a.m., members of the Windsor Police Service placed the 39-year-old suspect under arrest without incident in the area of Howard Avenue and Cabana Road. He faces the following charges. Arson, causing damage to property, criminal negligence in failing to provide assistance in relation to the life or safety of another person, as well as being an accessory after the fact. The suspect was released on a promise to appear and has a pending court date early in December 2015. A charge of arson causing property damage will be processed against the injured male when his medical condition improves. Police are continuing with the investigation and are still asking anybody within our community to call police with information or Crime Stoppers if they choose to do so. The scene examination is complete and the fire marshal report is still pending in this matter. This time, as I've indicated, this is a criminal investigation that is still ongoing and we are appealing to the public with anybody with additional information to definitely make the phone call to police or Crime Stoppers.